For this tutorial, we'll explore the various options for saving your files and projects. Once you've made a recording, you must save your file, give it a name, and indicate where you want to save it. The default name for your file will be untitled.wav. Click the drop down arrow to the right of the Save icon in the main toolbar. This reveals a list of the various formats you can save to. Choose WAVE. This opens the Save As dialog box. By default, it is set to save in the SoundForge Audio Studio 12 folder in the Magic's Project folder in Documents. Use the Save In drop down arrow to open Tree List and select another destination if you prefer. Next, give your file a name. Since WAVE was chosen, that is the file type listed in the Save As Type text box. Click the drop down arrow and notice that you can still select another file type if you desire. Leave it as WAVE. If you have saved a file in another folder besides the default, you can quickly return by clicking the Recent Directory drop down arrow and selecting that folder. Finally, click the Format Settings button. This enables you to select from various sampling rates and bit depth choices for saving a WAVE file. Close all the dialog boxes without saving. Click the Save Icons drop down arrow again and choose MP3. Notice it is the same dialog, but this time the Save As type is listed as MP3. Click the Format Settings button and notice this offers different sampling rates and bit depth similar to what we saw with our WAVE file options. Click the Save As Type drop down arrow and notice you can still get to the other choices, including WAVE, even though we chose MP3 to start with. It's a very flexible system that allows you to save your newly recorded file in a number of formats or to reformat an existing file to another format. 